Wouldn't it sound crazy to be an immigrant, become an American citizen, and then discourage immigration, talk down on immigration? Also, what if you were at one time committed a crime as an immigrant, but you still got your citizenship in America? All this talk about millions of dollars being diverted to immigrants and Americans are starving and and the hurricanes and the rescue efforts and FEMA doesn't have any money. Yes, FEMA did dole out money for immigration, but it wasn't for hurricane disaster relief. Disaster money and the money for immigration are two different things. And people are out here lying. Why you have to lie to kick it? Why you got to lie to win? All Republicans do is lie. MAGA. I'm going to stop putting Republic, MAGA Republicans. All they do is lie. And people are drinking the Kool-Aid. I'm going to show you this article. Yes, FEMA was in charge of the money. But how did FEMA get the money to help with immigration? FEMA did administer $640 million in grants from Customs and Border Protection in 2024 and about $364 million in 2023 to cities and counties that serve immigrants. However, that program called the Shelter and Service Program, or SSP, is separate from FEMA's Disaster Relief Fund, which is more than $20 billion. So you're talking about less than $1 billion versus $20 billion. The SSP was created in 2022 when cities were struggling to deal with influxes of migrants. How was those cities getting those migrants? Don't forget Santos and the governor of Texas were flying migrants all around America, dropping them off in democratic areas. The same year, Congress directed Customs and Border Protection to transfer $800 million to FEMA to support cities sheltering migrants. The money was transferred to FEMA, and as with many other federal grant programs, FEMA managed the distribution of the grants. The money was not FEMA money. They needed a, a um, organization. They needed part of the, somewhere in the government, some system of the government to take the money, be able to handle the money, and disperse grants. So Homeland Security, Customer and Board Water Protections, decided to let FEMA do it. So then FEMA was allocated $800 million, less than a billion dollars, organized and issued grants to cities that need it. It wasn't FEMA money. That's where the lie come from. But all this talk about Ohio and Haitians eating cats and dogs and all this money going to immigrants, I guess they're gonna allocate like $2 million toward Ohio to Ohio to help with the Haitian immigrants, which Truthfully, they came over here in 2017. They came to Ohio during the Trump presidency. They don't tell you that because they're all full of lies. Research it. They started coming in 2017 during the Trump administration. And Trump actually was trying to deport Haitians back then during his own administration. Do your research. They say they came in during the Biden-Harris administration which, of course, is a lie. They actually came in during the Trump administration, starting in 2017, one year after Trump came into office. Go check that out. But the money that FEMA was allocating toward immigration had nothing to do with FEMA money. FEMA's not running out of money, so it's all a lie. But people want to complain about immigrants getting money, especially one of the American citizens 
who used to be an immigrant, who owns a big technology company called Tesla and X and Specs X. Guess how much government subsidies has went to that one Elon Musk? Since people want to complain about immigrants getting money, let's do some real research. Like I said, doesn't it sound crazy for an immigrant who became an American citizen to complain about immigration? Elon Musk is from South Africa. Moved to Canada, then moved to America. Elon Musk is an immigrant. Los Angeles entrepreneur Elon Musk has built a multi-billion dollar fortune running companies that make electric cars, sell solar panels, and launch rockets into space. And he built those companies with help of billions in government subsidies. Elon Musk has obtained over $40 billion from the American government. Tesla Motors, Solar City Corporation, and Space Exploration Technologies, known as SpaceX together, has benefited from estimated $4.9 billion. I said $49 billion. I mean $4.9 billion in government support, according to data compiled by the Times. So, why are people complaining about that? Elon Musk is the immigrant. He's obtained $4.9 billion. And the money that he, 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 he's gotten is to help him make more money. It's not like the government gave him money and he gave away free Teslas, gave away free solar panels, built solar panels for people who was homeless, gave, gave Teslas away to people who didn't have a car, was trying to get a job and start their family over. No, he profited from that money. At least the Haitian immigrants in Ohio, the money they, they have gotten has helped grow. If you know the truth about what's going on in Ohio, help companies grow. Help companies obtain labor they, they couldn't they didn't have. So that money's going to a good place. People, probably 75% of Americans can't even afford a Tesla. Let alone buy one. Let alone buy one. Tesla and Solar City continue to report net losses after a decade in business. Sound like somebody else you know? A billionaire running for president? All the money he got from his father? He's always losing, went bankrupt seven times? A casino owner said that Donald Trump has to be a bad businessman. Because who opened up the casino and it has to close and go into bankruptcy? A casino is supposed to make money like a bank. That's how much of a bad businessman Donald Trump is. Musk's stake in the firms also is worth about $10 billion. The subsidies have generally been disclosed in public records and company filings. But the full scope of public assistance hasn't been tallied because it has been granted over time from different levels of government. So I see a 49 billion as a mistake. It's really 4.9 billion. But it might be, we don't know how much money Elon Musk has gotten from the American government. Now, why are people not complaining about that? Why well, there's not an uproar on Fox News and Newsweek and the Blaze Network about how much money a white South African immigrant is getting from America while people are starving. New York State is spending $750 million to build a solar panel factory in Buffalo for Solar City, Elon Company. The San Mateo, California-based company will lease the plant for a dollar a year. It would not pay property taxes for a decade, which otherwise totaled an estimated $260 million. The federal government also provides grants or tax credits to cover 
30% of the cost of solar installation. So not only is he getting a break, the government also gave him a 30% break on top of that. Solar City reported receiving 497 millions in direct grants from the Treasury Department. Elon Musk companies are losing money, and he's still getting money from the government. How many people pay a dollar in taxes a year for their business? They said, and don't have to pay taxes for 10 years, which will add up to $260 million. But nobody's complaining about Elon Musk. We're talking about a fraction of money going toward immigrants and housing immigrants. Elon Musk been getting billions from the government for years. Now, him as an immigrant, sucking money from the American government, how, how many charities have Elon Musk gave money to in America? Hmm. Elon Musk has never been described as a philanthropist. He's been described as a bigot and a racist coming from South Africa. Go research what happens in his in his in in, in, his, in his companies. That how many minorities have filed suit against the racism that flows through Elon Musk companies. Billions. Nobody's complaining about. Remember I said maybe he was illegal? If you commit a crime, I don't think you're supposed to get a a, a, um, a visa or you're supposed to get American citizenship if you commit a crime as an immigrant. But listen to this. Listen to this. I want you to hear this. David, for us to hear, we'll give you $3 million. Yeah, for... it sounded extremely, we thought they were crazy. Like, I mean, why would they do a, that? It was literally like, <laughs> these people are insane. They obviously do not realize we're sleeping in the office. <laughs> in fact, when they when they did fund us, yeah. They, they realized that we were illegal immigrants. Well, I mean, yes, we were. I'd we say were. it's a gray area. Yeah, <laughs> yes, we were. I was, I was, yeah, we were illegal immigrants. We were sleeping in the office. We didn't have a car. We had one car, but the wheel kept falling off. But, well, actually, yeah, the, the, the wheel. See, Elon Musk said it's a gray area. When they first got there uh, for a company that, that's a, a company called Zip something, that's now defunct. Their first investment as immigrants, they got a, a $3 million investment, which I don't know the legality of it, but not being American citizens and getting that investment some, somehow violates the law. And I, I, I researched it, so I guess it could, it could have been a felony. They could have been deported for it. So Elon Musk's brother admits to it. Oh, we committed a crime when our first company in America. We weren't even American citizens yet. Where's the uproar? Where's people telling Elon Musk he need to get all the money back to the government? He committed a crime. He was a he was an immigrant who committed a crime in America. He needed to be deported. I bet you that would never happen. So everybody out there complaining about immigration, which this immigration thing only comes up during elections. Just to think about it. Immigration has never been a, a big deal as this until 2016 when Trump came down that golden escalator and started calling Mexicans animals and rapists. Immigration has never been a big deal as it is today. Because it's been propaganda injected into Americans who are bigots and racist in the first place. And I'm not saying everybody that support Trump is a bigot or a racist. I'm not saying that. I would never say that. I don't put people in a box. Like sometimes people put black people, minorities in a box. Or like how Trump put certain ethnicities in a box. Or when he called Haiti a uh, s-hole country. So now his base is against Haitians. Everywhere Trump goes is chaos. 
And guess where the chaos is mostly aimed? At black and minority people. I gave you some information. How upset are you now knowing that Elon Musk, who this might be the biggest campaign influence we're going to find out two to ten years from now, X, how it's influencing Trump's campaign, how Elon Musk is supposedly giving Trump $45 million a month. Part of our taxpayer dollars that went to him over $4.9 billion in subsidies. He's giving $45 million. What has Elon, who, what has Elon Musk gave to America? What homeless shelter has he, has he funded? What charity does Elon Musk have in America? He takes our money. How many Teslas have you given away to people that need a car, who legitimately need a car to get back and forth to work? Ask yourself that. I'm Muhammad Malik. This is Fresh Slant. Please like and subscribe. I salute you.